my darlings. My name is Katie of Rose Bloom Readings. Thank you for being here with me today. Today's reading, my love, we are experimenting with something. Um, some of you know, some of you may not know, some of you may be new, some of you may not just not be aware that there's kind of a pattern that um, I follow on my channel for readings because I like to do all different types of readings and I like to try and make sure that I you know have a variety for people that don't just want to stick to one topic matter and I don't want to stick to one topic matter either because there's so much else out there um, so the pattern if I remember correctly is uh, an intimate reading a romance reading and then a uh, general reading like a, a you know any topic blessings uh, career past life etc 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 whatever fits into that category um, and today's reading is due to be an intimate reading however um, we've been pretty lucky I will have to say I'll knock on wood for that we've been pretty lucky that we've been able to dodge the um, all-seeing eyes and laser beams of uh, of the YouTubes um, and we've been safe we're safe but there have been a couple a couple videos of mine that they've demonetized uh, for ad suitability because you know we talk about some some stuff some spicy things so um, we're going to see how today goes I think it I think it's gonna go well I feel good about it watch me say that and then boom demonetized in like 20 minutes um, but I'm, I am feeling good about it. I feel good about it. <laughs> I think if I keep repeating that to myself, it's going to become true. Um, but if, you know, if YouTube doesn't like the spicy content, then worry not, my darlings, because I love doing, uh, readings on intimacy. I think intimacy is a beautiful, fantastic, wonderful thing. Um, the connection created bet through intimacy and between intimacy is phenomenal and something worth, uh, elaborating on and worth and worth talking about and it's beautiful and so if YouTube continues to dislike that then we'll just you know there's many many ways to go about things my darlings many ways to do things around here worry not the intimate content will continue all of the content will stay the same my loves it'll just you know we'll figure it out I don't know whatever you got we'll we'll talk about it. we'll talk about it communication is very important we'll talk about it my loves we'll talk through it and we'll get to it but we are going to try today i thought i would try and trick the like kind of like dodge their like angry laser beams because by um combining kind of a romance and uh intimacy reading the next reading that uh, is posted will be strictly romance songs the uh more zesty details because there are people that you know that's not something they're into hearing or whatever reason so um today's reading my darlings <laughs> is, uh, is going to be um how your first date goes and i feel like this is a reading that is for a specific number of people because i feel like there are people who you know have certain convictions and da da, da 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 and there are people who are like hey wherever the night takes us i'm ready and then i also feel as though there are people um who are kind of like oh you know i don't know i don't know if that's something that i would do on a first date and i feel as though there's going to be a pile in here maybe even two piles where that comes up and it surprises you um in the way that the the date or night or whatever day unfolds um, and leads to uh, to intimate details. I do feel as though it's going to be very different in each pile as it as it is, my darlings. I feel as though there's going to be. I feel one pile. I can already feel the bounce wow wow uh, music in the background. <laughs> um, but I do feel as though there's going to be varying degrees um, of it. And yeah, we'll see what we get. I feel like there's a pile as well. I can hear spirit saying there's a pile where. Um, it's going to be as opposed to the first date, you know, things carry on and then it kind of stops and then continues and when and how and where and why will come up. Um, so we're going to see if we can uh, 
we can sprint freely away from the all watching eye, my darlings. Um, also, I have all of my fingers back. Yay! <laughs> I feel like um, there are people who are just like new viewers or whatever, people who haven't, you know, seen the videos where I had the uh, last few readings, I had a band-aid on my finger, I had a fist fight with a gate. I didn't actually. I, the, I tried to open a gate and it beat me up. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so they're gonna be like, what are you talking about? But I have all my fingers. I also got new nails and they're a bit long for my liking. You can tell they're long because they're half the length of my actual finger. And uh, I shuffled the selector cards okay with them. It wasn't terrible. I was very nervous about that. Um, but it was, yeah, it's, I feel like a, I feel like a squirrel. Anyway, um, just for, just because my hands are so small and the nails are so long, it doesn't feel, I think it's not like people have like, you know, these long, beautiful nails and they have like, you know, the hands and it's all nice and it's all good. Like where my hand models at, you know what I mean? And then, uh, that's just me. Anyway. Selector cards, my darlings. So, as always, I will have timestamps down below in the description box. Feel free to pick uh, as many piles as you feel drawn to, my darlings. There could be different messages in different piles that are meant for you that will resonate with you. Take the messages that resonate and leave behind what doesn't. We have pile number one is the Spirit Guardian of Autumn, Letting Go, number 35. Pile number two is Earth Spirit, Stability, number 14. Pile number three is Eagle Spirit Freedom, number 13. Ooh, my favorite number. And pile number four is the Enchanted Fern Grotto Refuge, number 16. That, that's cool. That's got some, that's some Final Fantasy level shit right there. <sighs> All right, my darlings, sit on it, meditate on it. Whatever you feel drawn to is what is meant for you. Take as long as you need and we will get started. Hello, 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 my beautiful darlings. Pile number one, if you picked this gorgeous card, Spirit Guardian of Autumn, letting go. This is your reading on how your first date is going to go. How your first date is going to go with who? Let's find out. I can hear Spirit saying it's with them. So the person that you have um, in your mind. I don't feel as though it's somebody who uh, a date or a particular romantic connection has been I'm gonna be obnoxious with these nails I hope you know like all right the hand gestures are already crazy I feel like I'm I feel I feel like a wizard <laughs> oh, I'm sorry it's a full moon in two days and I haven't slept all week and it's getting crazy um but it's not somebody you've had uh or you have a pre-existing like romantic connection with obviously because it's a first date but it is the person that you're thinking of the person that you're wondering uh, you know is it them this is your confirmation that yes it is them um so we have the with the fractal images my darlings we have the frequency shift and we have up oh oh my oh my goodness gracious um so frequency shift beautiful because it does mean that things are shaking up things are changing things are going to be different feels like things have been very very steady very much the same for a frustratingly long time for you my darlings I feel as though it's been particularly frustrating for you like things have I feel like you're even on like your last leg with it like I feel like you even made a, an internal ultimatum where like listen if this doesn't take off in the next three weeks I gotta move on I gotta I gotta I got to look elsewhere. Um, and up is very exciting because, again, along with the frequency shift, up confirms that it is moving very quickly, that it's happening right away, that it's going to ha happen and move in a place that is much better. Very much what you're manifesting. Also, it's funny that up came up because... Because... Regardless of what you're seeking out, my darlings, regardless of the hows and the whoms and the whats, um, I mean, look, look, look at that. Just, just, you know, just look. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I don't think I need to explain what I'm seeing because I think you can see what I can see in this imagery. Um, so it's going to be a great it's going to be a great first date is let's 
it's going to be fun. I'm ex let's, let's talk about it. I'm excited about it. Um, it's yeah, there's going to be a very, 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 very great and massive and exciting conclusion to the date. Okay. Um, so for, st oh, my chair is squeaking. So for starters, what are we pulling for starters? I want to pull, I want to pull the Wisdom of the Oracle for starters. Because I want to see, I just want to, I just want to see what's happening. It, this feels very exciting. I can smell, um, water. Can any of you guys smell, you guys can, like people can do that, right? Like it's a thing people can do. You know, the smell of water. They make air fresheners that smell like water. So people, like water has a smell, right? And I'm not, I'm not just making things up. <laughs> I'm not just saying things. Um, I can smell water. It feels like the beach. However, I do feel as though the card here, Spirit Guardian, Guardian of Autumn is uh, very significant because it does feel as though this date takes place. Um, <clears throat> Hmm, okay, dual message here because Spirit gave me the the chop in half hand. So either the date takes place in autumn. This is a timeless reading. Whenever you stumble upon this reading is when the messages are meant for you, my darlings. Um, this date takes place in autumn. And it feels like there's still some distance when you watch this from the season of autumn. Autumn in the Northern Hemisphere. So say September, October, November. Um... And that's kind of frustrating, but it feels like there's something that they're they're preoccupied with. There's like a business endeavor they're doing right now that they're kind of focused on. So they just don't have the extra time. Um, and for those of you who are watching this at a time when autumn is just, it's not even on the map. Um, it feels like this person is born in, uh, in autumn. Um, so I, I can see the beach. And I, or even, it's not even really like a beach. It's, I don't know, what constitutes a beach? There's no sand is what I'm getting at. Um, it's water, but there's, like, when you come off the water, it's like rocks and then grass. And it's in this kind of, like, little, little, like, grove, I guess you would say, with, like, trees. And it's very private and it's very intimate. And it feels like a place that's, it feels like it's separate from the rest of the world. Um, and it's very private and it's very beautiful. It's very, very deeply intimate. And it feels like this is a place that they bring you to, that they, you know, they talk about. And I feel like the date happens elsewhere, you know, classic, like dinner, maybe a movie. Do people go to movies anymore? Probably. I don't know. I haven't dated someone in a very long time. And so... <laughs> Wouldn't be a reading if I didn't drag myself. And, um the classic stuff and it's fun it's nice and then it's like hey you know I'm not ready to go home and you're like I'm not ready to go home what do we do now and so they take you to this place and it's very beautiful very intimate too cold I feel to go swimming or the water is not like proper for swimming something to you can't go in the water is the long and short of it and um but I can it can smell it it's very it's a very like crisp night it's very fresh there's nice there's a nice breeze it's very cuddly weather it's very you know scooch in closer let's keep each other warm kind of weather so for the wisdom of the oracle my dog oh but the but the ba, 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 ba. wisdom of the oracle we have number 11 by the book um we have peace it is really hard to handle these cards with these nails good lord and um we have time to go. Okay, so this is very exciting. This is very exciting because this double-edged sword is one confirming that yes, this is go this is happening, this is going. This is somebody who you've been talking to for quite a while. Somebody who you have really held fast and like I want them to make their move because there's something that's been holding you back from making your move in particular um I feel I don't know you you don't know like the full story with them yet you want to but you just don't and it's something to do with like you don't know if like some of them maybe they were married you don't know if like the divorce is finalized some of them were in a relationship you don't know if they're separated um some of them maybe went through a breakup and you don't know if they're ready there's something that you don't know that's held you back from from uh, making a move 
on them, as the kids say. And uh, this is confirmation that, you know, they are going to kind of not even wake up because they do have a very strong, very obvious interest in you, which I feel like only adds to your frustration because you're like, okay, I can tell that you in some capacity have some desire to do something with me. Um, so when are you going to ask kind of a thing? So confirmation that yes, you are going, you are going to be asked. Um, it's going to happen very, 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 very soon. Two weeks to two months, my darlings. Um, <clears throat> three months at a stretch, but that's a very long stretch. That's, that's a long stretch, my babies. Um, for those that are in the months as opposed to the weeks, it feels like uh, they are the ones who, they just have something, the timing doesn't work. They have to, you know, travel somewhere for work or they have, you know, a bunch of meetings stacked up or they have to do something important. They feel like rather important people in the position that they hold at their workplace. Um, yeah, this person's, they're not secretive purposefully. It just feels, this is earth sign energy, um, through and through. It's also, uh, I'm a Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, uh, could be Libra as well. Um, and Aries. And uh, so they don't intend to be secretive. They're just not, I don't know. They just don't, th I'm hearing they don't think to share. Um, and it's not like a, a poor ability to communicate. They don't, they have a great ability to communicate. They're phenomenal at communicating. It's just, they don't, I don't know. It's, a, I can hear spirit saying like, they don't think about themselves enough. Um, to to share information and details that, you know, somebody who's interested in them, somebody who cares about them, somebody who will eventually love them, um, would want to know. And um, so they you kind of don't know what to make of them. And there's a lot of air of mystery to them, but you want to find out more about them. You just, you feel the pull to this person and you can't get over it. And you know it's something special because you are not the type of people to wait on somebody um, you are not the type of people to kind of, you know, hang on to a lost cause for lack of a better term. And the fact that you just can't get this person out of your mind, you can't, you know, when they, uh, message you or call you, <clears throat> you, you feel those, those butterflies, that excitement. And that's not something that you usually feel with somebody who you wouldn't, want something with you know what I mean my darlings like you're not you're not hopeless romantics I suppose I should say you know you're you're realistic romantics and um this person has some sort of familial <laughs> familial connection to you there's a there's a better way to phrase that um, they have a connection to a family member of yours or they have a connection to a friend of yours who is close enough to be family. Um, and that is how you, uh, that is how you meet. And there's been sparks. There's been like flirtation and very beautiful stuff. Okay, let's, let's pull from the erotic fantasies or whatever the fuck this is called. See, I was just thinking just a second ago, I was like, oh, I'm doing so well, not swearing. Wow. Which is very hard for me because if you know me, you know that I curse for punctuation. So the fact that I now have to try and be mindful of like <laughs> only one or two for the first seven minutes, then fuck. Okay. Uh, oh, there's my two. And <laughs> we have the eight of cups. Um, this is interesting because we have the egg here and we have a very beautiful pregnant woman here. Um, we have the knight of wands. Is that a knight? That's a knight, right? The, right? Because I can't remember the symbolism here. We'll say it's the knight. It's the knight of wands. So we're going to say, and then we have judgment. Um, the ta-ta's on judgment, I swear. Okay. So, hmm. <sighs> children came up a little bit earlier and I was like I don't know because it feels like I don't oh, Jesus I don't know it must be because we're heading into the uh full moon in Leo 
And every Leo I have ever met has absolutely fucking adored children. Even the ones that have like tried to be nonchalant about it and be like, oh, you know, <laughs> yeah, these kids are cute, I guess. Um, I fucking adore children. Phenomenal with children. And uh, there's something here to do with children and spirit wants me to bring it up because they brought it up again, which they always do. And I'm like, eh. and they're like, no, Hey, listen, listen, listen. Um, so it feels like a mixed bag of messages. It feels like this person could have a child or this person could be having a child with another person that they are no longer with. Oh, I can feel feel the reaction from some of you on that one which you know these like that that happens and that's it's up to you my darlings how you digest that and how you process it and how you react to it completely in in your ballpark my darlings they are very understanding of whichever avenue you choose to take in reaction to that I am hearing very clearly um but also and I, I feel like I say this a lot um but spirit wouldn't tell me it if I didn't need to say it. So, uh, for those of you that can get pregnant or can get somebody pregnant, I mean, we saw it in the up card, my darlings, like a jet liner. Um, so <laughs> contraception, protect, protect whatever you need to protect my darlings. This is, this is a first date now. Let's we're excited. Let's not get that excited. Um, take home the memories and nothing else. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it does, yeah. It feels like... I can feel you being very surprised. And I feel like that connects to the fact that this person is, you know, again, unintentionally kind of closed off and mysterious. I feel like closed off isn't the right word. We'll go with mysterious. That seems more accurate to them. Um, because as you get to know them, this inkling of a spark and the connection that you feel to them is very intense and it's huge and it really becomes a matter of this is the person I've been waiting for and it's very validating to you because you've you know been talking to this person for a while I feel you've been holding out on a date for a while you've even got to the point where you're like okay I need to you know this needs to happen soon or I just need to get over it and move on to to whatever else is meant for me and this just it feels beautiful this is a very 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 beautiful person. This person, whatever they've got going for them, gorgeous, well endowed. It's beautiful. Whatever they've got, breasts, butt, etc., so on. <laughs> it's juicy. It's voluptuous. It's big. And it's very nicely shaped. I can hear someone saying like, this looks like it's from a magazine. Um, and now I don't know where they sell those magazines, but I'm sure they do somewhere um and they're yeah I mean very well endowed there's a lot of there's a lot of foreplay that happens here there's a lot of very intense very passionate uh touching and rubbing and kissing and licking and sucking and stroking and adjectives <laughs> no that's not an adjective verbs fuck Jesus Christ oh my god wow Mm. <laughs> um but the, yeah there's there's a lot I can also hear I can hear a lot of cursing uh first of all a lot of breathy moaning but I can also hear a lot of it's like either a prayer or a wish that I feel like you say like under your breath when you um pass the finish line YouTube flag that and uh something very like it takes you to another place it, it's otherworldly it goes somewhere where you have never been with somebody else and it's beautiful it's beautiful my darlings um it feels like passion does get the best of you because I can see that there are clothes very askew very you know kind of pulled and maybe something's a little bit torn maybe you know a button flies off and goes over there um but there are still somewhat clothes on it also feels like I can see you um 
on like the the trunk or the hood of their car and you're parked watching this water and you're talking and there's a beautiful conversation that's had um prior to uh the badonk badonkadonk and um it just there's something that clicks something that clicks with you both where you're like holy shit I'm really fucking into this person and you know it starts with a little bit of passionate grazing and caressing and then it kind of you know it, the kiss is explosive I will say that is a kiss that you think about for the next fucking 40 years of your life um and then it just it goes farther than that and it, it's something that once it's like it's a dam breaking is what it is it's something that builds up so much and I feel like this date goes on for like fucking nine ten hours um I feel like you start the date like around dinner time and I don't think you get home until after dawn uh the next day so dinner the math I'm doing math in my head and it's not going well what I, I said what I said and so um yeah this is some this there's just it feels ethereal to be with this person it feels like you disconnect from the world in which we all are and you go somewhere entirely different uh with this person we have number 13 death um, for the, whatever the fuck this is called. You guys know what this is called. I use this all the time. Terror of sexual magic. We have the queen of cups and we have the five of cups. Yes. Okay. This is gorgeous. So oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is so exciting because this feels like such a fresh, exciting with frequency shift and death. This is such an exciting change of pace. This is really the start of a new chapter. And I think the culmination of this date and the kiss and the intimacy and the fact that you feel this intense connection with this person you can feel that this is going somewhere very exciting it's going somewhere big it's going somewhere where you really want to go um and it's going to be great it's going to be beautiful you also hold on to this person for dear fucking life i feel like they do have some form of either bruises or um scratch lines like on their back because you just cling to this person for dear life you do not want them to separate from you you do not want them to part from you um this person it's interesting because there's a lot of duality to this person this person feels like they are initially very gentle and very passionate and very romantic and that continues throughout the intimacy but it does feel as though as things, you know, get more passionate, I feel like you kind of egg them on because that's something you're into. I do feel as though uh, the majority of you are into a bit of a rougher, rougher uh, throwdown. <laughs> um, that, you know, they're very happy to, to give you that. Um, for feminine energies, I am seeing, I mean, confirmation all over here. Very, very, very long, very beautiful hair. Um, wavy, curly, straight, all different textures, but it's very thick and it's very, it looks silky. It looks like you just want to touch it. It looks so soft. It's so beautiful. It's so nice. Um, more deeper colors, browns, uh, chestnuts, deep, deep, deep auburn. Mm, some cases I'm seeing black, but it's black that it's actually like dark, dark brown. Um, for the, for the masculine energies, I'm seeing longer hair because the hair is a focus. Like there's something about like running your fingers through their hair or being able to like grab onto their hair or touching their hair. The hair is very, very nice. It's very thick. It's very shiny. It's very, it just, oof, it's nice. It's soft. It's beautiful. And, uh, the more kind of mid-tones with the hair I'm seeing for the masculine energy, so sandy blonde, uh, or sandy brown, whatever the fuck it's called, um, light brown, mid-brown, more mid-tones there. Um, these people have gorgeous bodies. They put a lot of, uh, attention and effort into their bodies. 
Um, it feels like a stress release for them because I do feel as though, you know, as I said, they have important positions, demanding jobs, etc., etc. So it feels like that's a, a stress outlet for them. Gorgeous bodies. You love their bodies. They're very, 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 very soft-skinned people. Um, yeah, very, very muscular, very fit. Very, I'm, I can feel very, like, solid. Like, regardless of, you know, the shape of their body or the way their body looks, their skin is soft, but beneath the skin is very, very solid. They're very firm people. Um, extremely high stamina. Um, also extremely strong. So, um, like, I'm seeing, you know, them lifting you up and placing you somewhere. I'm seeing them... Um, just like clinging on to you, holding on to you, like arms around you, legs around you, and you can barely move. Very, very, very strong people. Um, a lot of focus on the hands, um, the stomach, and the thighs. These are very intimate people. They really, really like to prolong uh, intimacy. This isn't like a, you know, boom, bang, kiss, bang, done kind of a thing. These are people who adore the passion and art of uh, lovemaking. And that's what this feels like. It feels like, you know, although you don't love each other yet, this is your first date, um, there is a lot of passion here and they do make love with you. And it's, it's beautiful. It's phenomenal. It's something that, yeah, you don't ever want it to end. I can hear, uh, I can hear spirit saying that. Also, it's very moist. I can hear that as well. I'm um, oh my god, very moist. And then morning dew comes out. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have to get these. Oh my god, I have to try and pick up these fucking cards off the floor with these nails. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay, no, it went better than expected. We're fine. Um, moist morning dew. Good gosh. Okay. Clarity, a fresh start, a positive outlook, absolutely. We have Lineage of the Rose, moved by the goddess here for this soul call gather. And then we have Whispers of Mother Earth, creativity, ideas, inspiration, artist, writer, channel. Okay, so yeah, a lot of fluids between you both. There's a lot, it's, there's a lot of mess to clean up, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's things that end up in a lot of different places. Um, which is fine because it's something this feels very lighthearted after all the intense passion after like the lust and the longing and everything else it feels very lighthearted so there's you know some laughter there's you know tired chuckling it's all very sweet it's very beautiful it's very 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 lovely um mm. I keep hearing how soft you say this person's skin is. Also, the way that they smell. You let, like, you're, I can see you, like, you know, with your face buried in their neck or their shoulder or their hair or something, and you, you're breathing them in very, very deeply, and you love the way that this person smells. Um, I also feel like you, my darlings, are very creative people. You do something either as a very passionate hobby or as your career. Um, if it's a passionate hobby now, I do see it becoming a career for you, my darlings, that is uh, utilizing your creativity. Um, artists, writers, musicians, creators of some kind, something you have to utilize your creativity for. And it feels like this person very much is a muse for you. Um, if not already, then absolutely fucking becomes one after this. Hmm. Is there anything else, my darlings? They give me a shiver and they tell me no. Group number one, I hope that you enjoy that. Oh my goodness gracious. That is very gorgeous energy. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. I love that. That's so exciting. This is so fun. Very, very fun. Very, very just good. This just feels really, really, really good. And it's really nice that, that you're going to experience all of the wonderful things that you get to experience first date feels very beautiful as well very sweet very peaceful um very cozy very very intimate and very lovely um if you enjoyed that my darlings please let me know by leaving a comment i love hearing from you guys i love talking with you um if the reading resonated my energy resonated please subscribe all of my links for 
um, private reading information, as well as uh, social media, Instagram. Oh, I'm trying to be more active on Instagram. Just started today. It's going quite well. So <laughs> if you want, you can follow me on there. Um, thank you for being here with me. I love you all. Bye. Hello, 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 my beautiful darlings. Group number two, if you picked this card, Earth Spirit Stability. This is your reading on how your first date is going to go with this person. Um, off the bat, I am feeling as though this is an Earth sign that, com that confirms as much, but I also am feeling very strongly that this is a soulmate connection. Um, this, is, The two swans here are what is... Uh, that's brought my attention to that. Um, and it does feel as though you don't know this person right now. This feels like somebody who really just kind of poof, drops in your life out of nowhere. It's very serendipitous. Um, for the fractal images, my darlings, we have commitment and we have rejuvenation. Absolutely. And commitment here, the imagery of the infinite symbol interwoven, you know, beautiful and connecting. And the focus of the card there really tells me that, yes, you two are coming together and it's going to be beautiful and it feels like the soulmate connection is is imperative and it's coming up because um it really kind of drives the passion of how this date goes this is it's all the beautiful cliches my darlings this is somebody who you meet and you just feel an electric connection to them and this is somebody you talk to and you feel like you've known them your whole life and you're excited to know them and uh you know, they say something and it's almost like, I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that about you because you just, you know this person, even though you don't know this person. The very exciting stuff. Um, and the rejuvenation symbol, there's, I'm blanking on the name that like shell, the infinite shell for the cyclical nature of existence and so forth and so on. Someone will, someone tell me if they know. I can't remember right now. It'll pop up later in a reading and I'll start screaming about it. And, um, yeah, you're returning to each other. It feels very exciting, especially because this feels like something that you have really, really, really been waiting on, but also needed. I feel like you've just been so... I don't want to say downtrodden because that that's not right that's not accurate um this feels like more so you've really been in a period of needing to let go of a lot and it feels like it's you know like it's kind of like the earth like breaking apart under your feet and you're like okay I don't know where I'm supposed to step because I don't know which parts of my life that I'm supposed to you know keep that's stable and good and it feels like this person comes in and they are what what is stable and good and they exist in the place of everything else that you have that is stable and good and so it feels like they really just add a lot and but they also give you a lot of security and a lot of warmth and a lot of comfort and it's just it just feels like a really relieving breath to to have this person and to be with this person um I can hear like they're not going to disappoint you or, uh, you know, you're not going to be disappointed by them, um, which is the same thing. <laughs> it's very late. We've got a full moon in two days and <laughs> all right. So for the wisdom of the Oracle, my darlings, um, we have time to go which came up in the last reading and message applies as well here that this person's coming in quite quickly um but also like there's no two ways about it you cannot be led astray from from this connection like you know I feel like you guys are now kind of worried you're like oh my god I really want to meet this person I really need to meet this person uh what do I have to do nothing nothing my loves you just keep going keep doing you and literally boom right into your lives we have never ending ending story um which really correlates to the message earlier of just feeling so frustrated and you've been really having a hard time um in knowing who you can trust and who you can depend on and <sighs> sorry rowan's digging in my mattress <sighs> yep okay all right thank you special and uh not knowing you know who you can 
share, you know, your frustrations and your stresses with and, and communicate with. And it feels like there is somebody uh, in your close circle who has betrayed your trust, which is kind of where all this started. And it's, you've gotten rid of the snakes in the grass, my darling. I feel that very strongly. You've gotten rid of the people who aren't worthy of, of you, of your time, of your, of your friendship, of your relationship, of your um, heart and everything that you are. It's been shooed away, my darlings, and now all that is left is good and strong and time for a nap. Absolutely. Yeah. Spirit's like, you can, you can rest now. You can take it easy. You've done the hard stuff. Now you can just enjoy the peace of being <clears throat> surrounded only by, by people who have your best interests at heart, truly and fully. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Throat chakra stuff here. You you guys have... Uh, I feel like there are those of you who have recently started therapy, which is fantastic. Keep it up, my darlings. It's going to do wonders for you. And then there are those of you who have been thinking about it but haven't made the plunge to do that. And confirmation from spirit, my darlings, that that would be something that you would really greatly benefit from to clear out all of the excess stuff that you don't want to hold on to anymore. And to, you know, <clears throat> just share what you've gone through and have somebody be like, yeah, that fucking sucks in a professional way <laughs> and have that comfort and that reassurance. Um, this moon is really coming out to me. I feel as though this date takes place at night, like late at night, like even overnight, but it also feels like, uh, there's something to do with moon sign. So you could share a moon sign with this person. Um, their sun could be your moon sign, vice versa. Something very important about the moon sign because I feel like you're very tapped into your emotions and so I feel like you really connect with your moon sign or the moon is one of your favorite signs in astrology when you, you know, ask people about their charts or, or et cetera, et cetera, because you love to know how people react to and process and deal with emotions. Um, and the fact that you're doing this with an earth sign is adorable and hilarious. Um... All right, my loves, let's pull some erotic fantasy tarot. I want to know more about this overnight date. I keep hearing sleepover. So what's, what's that about? Um, cause that's a very ambitious first date. Like I wish I had the gall to invite myself over to somebody's house for a sleepover as a first date. My goodness. Um, Mm, foxes as well, my darlings, feel like they either really resonate with you or this person. Uh, could be a favorite animal or just a confirmation image. You know, you're on a date with this person, you pass by a painting of a fox, you, you go to their house, they have a picture of a fox or like a fox pillow or something and confirmation. The fox is a spiritual confirmation in this connection. Um, it feels like okay i see what we're getting all right all right all right okay let me get into that in a second so we have the seven of pentacles we have the ooh, double sevens we have the seven of cups and then we have 15 the devil okay that is a fucking terrifying devil by the way um i'm not into any of that you know double death card scary boohoo but that is a fucking horrifying devil um Okay, so message from before, bring it back. Yes, this is somebody who you have a pre-existing relationship with when you go on your first date. This is not somebody that you know now, but when you go on your first date, you already have a very, very strong, solid connection with this person. So this feels like, I, I don't feel like it's online dating. But I do feel as though this is somebody that you meet online. This is somebody that you start communicating with online. It could be through uh, social media comments. It could be through um, like you, uh, you purchase something from them or they purchase something from you on like an Etsy store or so on and so forth. And then communication from there. There's something where you're commenting or complimenting them or vice versa on what they're doing on a platform that they exist in online um that they're doing quite well at i will say and it blooms from there so you talk which is why it really makes sense to have you know 
overnight and sleepover and stuff be prevalent because it feels like there is a time difference and it feels like that communication has to happen for one of you at a very late hour. Um, so by the time you have this first date, you know, to have a sleepover with somebody who you've been dating for quite a while isn't, I mean, it's high, it's high time if you ask me. <laughs> Um, and it, yeah, there's a lot of pent up passion. There's a lot of sexual frustration. Oh, YouTube's not going to like that. There's a lot of feelings. Uh <laughs> oh my God. I need, I need tea or I need sleep. My goodness. Um, but this, yeah, I mean, seven of, of pentacles, this is something you've really, really, really built from the ground up. Um, this is something that you've worked towards. This is something that I, I can hear you, I can hear you saying, like, we've had to fight for this. Um, because it, you know, distance isn't easy and, and, you know, dating somebody primarily through a, through a screen isn't easy, but there's something very real here and there's something that keeps you both connected. Um, and it's, it's fun and it's exciting to have that connection with that person and to, to build that connection. But I mean, the feelings are there, my darlings, you both adore each other and you both want each other very, 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 very strongly. So when you get to meet, I feel as though it doesn't feel like the distance is, I'm not seeing an airplane. So I'm seeing them within, like it's a drive, like six, seven hour drive but it, it's a drive. It's not a flight. You know what I mean? Um, so when you, I see you going to their house because I feel like there's, there's, a, there, I can hear Stuart saying there's a lack of privacy where you live. So you could live with people that you don't want to have hear or see or experience what will occur. Um, and they have, you know, more of a private living situation. Saturation situation situation um and so you go to their house and then have your sleepover and it's it's i mean it is fucking electric my goodness i can <laughs> wow okay yeah like literally it's chains broken free it's no hold barred it's rough passionate intense in a very very beautiful way um because it's all of these feelings that have built up for so long that are finally being allowed to be free. Um, and it's just going on pure instinct and passion driven and it's beautiful. It's phenomenal. And it's almost like, it's almost like a haze. Like you almost don't remember like each individual step, um, of getting to, you know, each point in your first time being intimate with this person, because it's just, it's pure lust mingled with absolute passion and adoration. It's beautiful. So we have the wheel uh, for the Tarot of Sexual Magic. We have uh, death. This came up in the last reading as well. Very exciting stuff. Ooh! And we have the Queen of Chalices uh, that came up in the last reading as well. Very exciting stuff. Very exciting stuff. Um... Okay, so, yeah, this person feels like they come into your life, as I said, as a result of change. Um, this is a person who, they have the appearance of, like, a, a something like a, you know, a, I don't know why Rowan is licking her paws so loudly in the background. It is distressing. Um... But a look of like a, like a, you know, a god or a goddess, like they just look so elegant. They look so, they, they look ethereal. Their hair is very long or big. It's very soft. They have very like, um, not droopy eyes, but like very like lidded eyes, very like bedroom eyes, I guess the term is. Long eyelashes, very, you know, nice pouty lips. They have beautiful bodies, beautiful people. They just look unreal um very passionate people and for it feels i just hear i keep hearing secure over and over again so while this is very 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 passionate very intense very it's almost maddening how how intense this 
intimacy in the, in the initial first official date um, is. But it feels like you're completely secure throughout all of that. So, you know, yes, someone's getting thrown against a wall affectionately, but they're being held and they're secure and they're safe and they're protected and they're they're very clearly adored and that's beautiful. Um, you really love their chest. You love burying your face in their chest. Um, and this person loves your booty, holding it, biting it. Whatever else they may choose to do to it, they do it. Um, big fan. Big fan of your booty. Um, and it feels like there's something to do with size here. <laughs> Isn't there always? Um, it feels like you are a person who I feel like you, you, you're gorgeously present in your existence, my darlings. You're just beautiful people that you're very present wherever you exist. And this is something I feel that you've been self-conscious about for um, in, in the past, my darlings. You're beautiful. You're gorgeous. You're so, so, so fucking stunning. And so this person, I feel you don't feel that they can, um, you know, support you or you don't feel as though they can, you know, lift you up or hold you or toss you around or do whatever they have to do and they they do they have the strength to do whatever they need to do to you my darlings and it really just solidifies the fact that everything that they give you makes you feel good and makes you feel as you should feel makes you feel beautiful and and loved and appreciated and gorgeous and all of these wonderful things um <clears throat> uh, what are we pulling next we're gonna pull the I don't remember what you were called Rose Oracle okay um but this is very very beautiful it feels yeah I'm seeing <clears throat> you could also meet them at like some like a halfway point of uh a halfway point uh between the distance because either they have a really fucking nice house or you're in like a nice hotel, like a let's make this special kind of hotel. Um, because I can see art on the walls and like, yeah, so either they live like royalty or you decided to make a trip to see each other and have it be like a vacation almost. But it's exciting because you get to see each other for the first time. Uh, we have the sun, my darlings. Joy, enjoyment, life force, success, vitality, and play. Absolutely. We have the sacred union. When I said soulmates, babies. When I said soulmates. Beloved within inner and outer relationships. Uh, we have rose without thorns. You have a right to your joy, peace, sweetness of life. I don't want to take both of these. Am I taking the bottom or the top? They say bottom. Okay. Um, and come to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, attracting like a rose, receive abundance, desires. Yes. This is somebody who, I feel like for some of you, this might even be the first person that you have an intimate relationship with. Um, or this is somebody who you have uh, intimacy with for the first time after a very long time of not having intimacy with another person, um, which would make sense then the kind of self-conscious nerves that come up, um, you know, if it's something that one you haven't experienced before or something you haven't experienced in a long time, my darlings, trust your, trust your body, trust your connection with this person. This is such a real grounded, beautiful connection. Um, don't get lost in your own head when you are with this person in the throes of, of adoration and everything beautiful going on here. Um, it does feel like there are several in this person allows you to feel the sun several times. Um, they're very, 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 very adamant on you enjoying yourself fully. It feels like you can't even like move after like your body is it doesn't even feel like your own like your muscles are just jelly your bones have vanished and uh and <laughs> yeah this person is very 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 wonderful about pleasuring you um beautiful first day though my darlings this feels like uh i'm seeing like a museum or some sort of like um what are they called 
like a b -b 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 -b. with like the butterflies and the plants and shit what is that called not a biodome i keep hearing mortuary and i know that's not right what is it called oh it starts with an a arboretum and or something like that right something along you know there's bugs there's butterflies but it's like inside in like a temperature environmentally controlled area um something to do with that something where like you, you there's a lot of walking and talking and just it's so cute because you're both so happy to just exist in each other's presence after you know having this like distance having this screen be the middleman of this relationship for so long my nose is so itchy um spirit is really 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 communicating clearly through this relationship my darling oh my goodness um but just walking holding hands laughing getting you know you've heard this person's voice they've heard your voice there's there's you know calls video chats etc 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 but to hear it without like stereo sound is beautiful you can't get enough of it um and it's so sweet because you both just you adore each other so much and this is this feels like a really long-standing relationship this i it honestly this feels like your life partner um beautiful and the distance will be figured out my darlings that's not something that's pressing at the initial moment so it's not something that's coming up right now but i am hearing spirit saying like it will be it will be dealt with. It will be resolved as opposed to just dealt with. Um, but yeah, walking around, you know, this place. And it, I feel like it's a place they know. So it could be closer to their home, maybe even in their city. I feel like they live in a very, very, very big city. Um, and then going to this this hotel. And it's cute because it almost feels like, like this is quite a lot to say for like a first date. But it almost feels like a honeymoon where like just the excitement of something big happening has happened and then the aftermath of it is so passionate and so beautiful and it's wonderful. I'm so excited for you, my darlings. This is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous energy. This connection is stunning. Group number two, I hope that you enjoy that, my loves. Oh, that's so exciting. I feel the heart chakra energy is gorgeous, I tell you. Just, you're gonna feel a lot of like very comforting warmth in your chest, my darlings, as you get close to meeting this person. I do feel as though you will be meeting this person. It's feeling very, very soon. Uh, four to six months for for most of you, a year for a few of you. Um, I hope that you enjoyed that, my loves. If you did, please leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. I love talking to you guys. Um, if the reading resonated and my energy resonated, please subscribe. All of my links for private readings and my social media. I only use Instagram. I was saying uh, in the last reading that I'm trying to be more uh, active on Instagram. I'm very bad at social media. I'm just bad at most things. Um, <laughs> and so trying to be better at that, trying to be more uh, active. I'm always there. Like I'm always around, you know, some of you are so sweet and send me little messages and stuff and it's lovely and I love it. I love talking to you guys. So I'm always kind of drifting about, but I'm trying to actually like, you know, do more on there. Um, those links are down in the description below. My darlings, thank you so much for being here with me. I love you all. Bye. Hello, 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 my beautiful darlings. Group number three, if you picked this gorgeous card, uh, Eagle Spirit Freedom, number 13, excellent number. Uh, this is your reading for your first date and the intimacy that will occur. And it feels like, I could hear when I went to grab your pile, um, it feels like this is the group that is more curious than anything. Um, or we're like, I'm going to get messages about my first date and then she's going to tell me that we're not going to be intimate because that's not, I feel like you have very, very, very strong convictions on that, my darlings very much like no that's not you know third or fourth date maybe first date maybe maybe a kiss but you know nothing more than that and you want me to be like that's all that's gonna happen well <laughs> surprise babies things get spicy we have fairy magic and we have immunity from the uh, fractal image deck um yeah this person it you surprise yourself absolutely you fucking surprise yourself because you just 
feel outside of yourself in this and you just you you can't it's you don't regret it at all you're very 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 glad to do it um would absolutely do it again will do it again feels like you're you know you you're surprised at yourself because you're like I don't know how we got <laughs> how we got here um and sometimes things are just like that my darling sometimes you know People just be gorgeous and charming and charismatic and the passion is electric and you find yourself with your panties around your ankles and who who even knows, right? Who even knows? Uh, <laughs> no, this is beautiful. This is very exciting. This is very fiery. This feels like... Um, it feels like somebody that you know either through work or somebody that you know through someone you know through through work because it feels like you have quite a good social life at work um it feels like you do you know there's like okay we're going to grab drinks later we're going to grab something to eat people have get-togethers at each other's houses like it all feels very interconnected um it's a very very pleasant work environment I feel very strongly that you really really love what you do because of the people that you get to do it with um and it feels like this is a person who is either a co-worker of yours or somebody that you know regularly because they are um like a roommate of a co-worker when you go to you know their house to hang out and have drinks and dinner and play board games or uh somebody they in invite out quite a lot like their best friend or something um And it just feels like, yeah, you guys just, it feels like a social setting where this kind of first date happens because it doesn't feel like this, this is wild because for somebody who is very conventional, this is not a conventional situation. This feels like a pre-existing social situation where you're already at, you're already out and about and you're, you know, chatting and enjoying and having a nice time. And then this person is somebody who you do have, uh, your eye on because they are very 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 attractive they have your eye on their eye on you as well and there's you know a lot of flirtation but nothing's really been done about it because it just I don't know something's been holding you back you're like oh no they know the person I work with or this isn't the right place for that or maybe you know I'll give them my number we can do something separate away from everybody else but that's not how it happens my darling sometimes things happen the way we don't expect them to happen and it's beautiful and wonderful serendipity absolutely fucking gorgeous confirmation that this is wonderful and this is just happening the way that it's happening and it's beautiful clovers everywhere four leaf clovers everywhere my darlings this is so this person literally just drops into your lap and it is wonderful that they are so they are so funny i can hear you laughing a lot a lot of very genuine laughter as well none of that like polite laughter he he ha ha behind a hand kind of stuff no 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 um this is very genuine like gut nodding laughter um and it's beautiful. It's like, it's breathless. It's wonderful. And this person is really intelligent and you love talking to this person. And this person is such an attentive listener as well. They really care about the fact that they're communicating with you. I mean, you are just, you are smitten. And then some, my darlings, um, poised. Absolutely. What I was just saying, you're like, yes, I'm ready. Universe, give it to me. Yes, 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 yes. You have a lot of, uh, we have peace came up in the first reading as well. You have a lot of fantasies about this person. You have, you have had a crush on them for quite some time. Um, I feel like you met them within a few months of starting your job. And I feel like this is a job that you've had for like a little less than two years to four years. Um, <clears throat> but this is somebody, yeah, you've had, you've met before. You you're very attracted to you've kind of never you know it's it's almost been like a like a joke kind of a thing to like fantasize about this person it's like in the way that like people would fantasize about like a movie person actor is the word I'm looking for one of those movie people and you know like it's like oh that would never happen that's not real you think like oh you know they must have. Uh, somebody at home or you know there must be something I'm not seeing here because like if this person's single that doesn't make any fucking sense um so there must be something I'm missing like it's just been like a fun fantasy and then it just one night it all it all comes down to I'm hearing spirit say it just comes down to a moment of courage just a moment where the flirtation and the banter and the laughter and the communication just goes a little bit farther. Just somebody makes a comment and, you know, 
it it ignites a fire and then boom the whole place is lit up and it, it feels like somebody says something along the lines of wanting the other person or or you know being attracted to the other person or having feelings for the other person it doesn't feel strictly physically focused it doesn't feel strictly intimately focused it feels more about the person specifically wanting a relationship with them wanting to take them on a date wanting to get to know them better etc etc and that kind of just it's the match that sets off the fucking powder keg and it's no surprise that by the end of the night boom um okay let's pull from the erotic fantasy tarot and let's see what we get it feels like you're um i feel like a lot of you identify as demisexual um which is why i feel like it's such a big deal to to be like oh no on a first date like i could never uh never possibly do that but it's i mean it's it's a first date and it's not because you do know this person like you've you know spent a lot of time with this person you've communicated a lot with this person you've been around this person on quite a lot there is a connection there like there is a pre-existing friendship we'll call it um and so when this person reveals more to you which i feel like does happen in this conversation this is a very long conversation i mean it feels like this is like a bar or a club or something and people are over there doing what they will do having a good time and you two are just in your own little private corner and you're huddled in close and you're talking and you're laughing and someone has an arm around the other person and it's just gorgeous it's beautiful it's intimate it's amazing it's something so purely intimate in a space that does not feel intimate at all um and so as they reveal more of themselves to you and as you really 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 delve deep into that emotional connection with this person that's when you know you're like okay this is okay this feels good this feels safe and you just it just I mean it's it's as a river will flow my darlings which rivers do be flowing and they will be and but like just following how it feels and it happens very naturally my darlings um we have the seven of pentacles we have the wheel and we have the queen of cups okay this is beautiful yes absolutely so regardless of your identity my darling queen of cups energy absolutely is you very 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 much you lead with emotion connection is only developed and only happens with others through emotion um and you have an emotional connection with this person. This person is very emotionally comforting. They're just so, they care so fucking much about what you're saying and what you're talking about. And it's beautiful. They just, they care so deeply. This person has really, really, really strong, uh, I'm seeing air and earth energy specifically. Um, excellent communicators, but just also, they're so fucking sweet. They are such sweet people. And, um... Hmm. Spring and summer I'm seeing as being like pinnacle points for when this date happens. But it also feels like, yeah, I mean, seven of, of pentacles, my darlings, you've put time and effort into this connection. Um, because you it's funny because you've been like, okay, I'm gonna do this and I'm hoping that it turns into something more someday, but it almost has naturally. Um, which would make a lot of sense for the fact that this, you know, if this is an air earth or yes, air or earth sign person, um, to kind of, you know, let things happen the way they will happen and not really put like a label on it or push, put any pressure on it just to let it happen very organically and very naturally as this does happen. So it's almost like you've been like half dating without you realizing it, if that makes sense. And so the fact that, you know, just a moment of it's a moment of confirmation that they they give you that's like yes no I feel the same way about you that you feel about me I want the same things that you want from me they do want a relationship they do want to uh date you they do want to have a connection to you that it's like okay well this is you know everything that's built up kind of just you know fire everywhere um oh my goodness gracious 
the cards are very excited tonight. They're flicking all over the place. Um, Terror of Sexual Magic, my darlings. This feels very... This is so warm. This is really, really divine. Um, as in the last reading, there's a lot of nose itchiness to get the magician. Absolutely. This is somebody you've been waiting for, somebody you've been asking for, somebody you've been manifesting. Um, we have the tower and then we have the king of cups, the king of cups with the queen of cups. Why don't you, why don't I start crying, please? Like, I... I need to leave. Um, it's just, this is beautiful. This feels specifically gorgeous and feels like such a comforting message from spirit and from this person's higher self to you because you are a person who is so invested in emotion and emotional comfort to have the king of cups and the queen of cups, the pinnacle of masculine feminine energy of emotion and, and of care and depth and romance to come up beautiful this person dotes on you this person is gentle this person is caressing this person they do not pressure you at all which i feel like it's hard for you to believe because you're like no i wouldn't i couldldn't i shan't i mustn't but you sh you shat and <laughs> and you must <laughs> oh it's so late um but yes, you like you, you do, you trust, you trust the instinct and you go with it and it feels so it's so fucking freeing. Oh my God. Freedom. Absolutely. It's so freeing to not hold yourself back from something that you feel so drawn to. You want this person. You desire this person. They desire you. You feel a connection to this person. You feel safe with this person. You feel comforted by this person. You feel treasured by this person, all of these wonderful feelings. So to let yourself kind of let loose and, 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 you know, let yourself be guided by your emotions and your feelings and your heart, um, instead of having to hold yourself back because you're waiting for them to prove something to you. They don't need to prove anything to you, my darlings, because they've proven it to you. And they, they will specifically in this moment, this, this, interaction that you have really just gives you everything that you need to know um and if this f person already feels quite physically affectionate with you like they are a person who you know strokes your face strokes your hair um puts an arm around you has an arm on your on your thigh you know touches your arm touches your hand this is a very physical person um and you're aware of that um this person you just you feel so safe with this person this is a person who you don't have to worry about you do have a timid energy to you my darlings especially when it comes to interacting with uh, potential romantic partners um and this person just gets rid of all of that they get rid of all of that absolutely 110 fucking percent um it does feel as though um this happens in a place where it's not as private as you would like it which makes sense if you're like out at a social event and you know you're kind of going with the flow of the night and the emotions because it feels like there is somebody that uh you can hear and I think you get a little bit nervous because you can hear like this person talking and maybe they're being a bit rowdy maybe it's a bit late in the night and you can't see them they can't see you but you can hear them and you're like oh my god they're close and so then I think it you know Mm, okay, I'm getting the divide. So some of you, when this happens, you get nervous. This, the person you are with is very in tune to your uh, feelings, your expressions, and your uh, thoughts as well on like an intuitive basis, but also because they pay attention. So you either go somewhere where you can continue or it's kind of like, okay, you know, let's stop this for now and let's pick it up again more formally and then you have your official first date and then it you know the first date is funny because it's like okay let's just wait until we get to dessert kind of a thing am I right um gorgeous 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 mm -mm 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 -mm. this person has really nice shoulders really nice chest um very 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 broad shouldered um quite tall as well as tall as you or taller than you legs for days I'm hearing also 
Mm. I feel like um, your first date, you end up sleeping with them, like sleeping, like honk shoe, honk shoe, little cartoon Z's floating in the air, sleeping. Um, because I feel it and I feel like you wake up and you're like, I've never had such a good sleep. That was the best sleep I've ever had in my entire life. Hello, my darlings. I am sorry. Oh my God. I just finished your reading and then I realized that the camera shut off in the middle of it. What the fuck? But that's okay because it was right, uh, cut off right when I was shuffling the Rose Oracle cards. So we have uh, Rose Without Thorns. You have a right to your joy, peace, sweetness of life. Uh, the Bud, Potential Promise, It's About to Happen, Keep Going. And The Breathing Rose, Heart Healing, Emotions, Connection, Time Eases. And in the initial reading, when I flip these over, I flip these over. I lost my mind. Um, because this is just such a beautiful confirmation, my darlings. And it, I'm feeling a very, 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 very strong uh, paternal energy watching over you. A spirit guide energy. It feels like a very close grandfather or a close, you know that kind of an, uh, an energy that you did know in the physical life that is watching over you, protecting you very, very, very closely. And maybe that feels weird to say like in a, you know, reading about intimacy, but pff, I mean, we can't, we can't surprise them. Um, but this just feels like all permission and confirmation from spirit and from your higher self that, you know, this is okay. It's different for you. It's something that you're not used to. It's something that you don't expect, something that you're really surprised by. But if it feels right, if it feels good and the connection is there, the emotional connection is there, it deepens through this interaction when, you know, with which this leads to, um, then go for it, my darlings. You sleep with them and you have a really, really comforting, best sleep of your life honestly it feels like um so yes this is different my darlings different than you expected different different than you experienced different than you anticipated happening but it is beautiful and it's wonderful and this is comforting and safe and this person is so safe and supportive and warm and loving and this just feels really really good this is very very heart chakra centered stuff the two of you are very connected at the heart and it's gorgeous it's amazing trust your instincts my darling if you feel drawn to it and it feels right and it feels good go for it my loves is there any, anything else to give me a shiver and they tell me no they say stop talking before the video cuts off again you have another reading to do all right my loves i hope that you enjoyed that group number three my beloveds if you did please let me know by leaving a comment i would love to hear from you love to talk to you guys um if the reading resonated my energy resonated please subscribe all of the links are down below for my uh social media and uh, private readings um Thank you for being here with me. I love you all very much. Bye. Hello, 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 my beautiful darlings. Group number four. I'm a little frazzled because I'm halfway through, not halfway, three quarters through the last reading. My camera shut off and that just throws off the whole, the whole thing. It's trying to like bring the messages back before, but also I don't get to react to them because I'm not receiving them initially. Whole mess. So I'm, I'm coming back from that. We're good now. We're good. We figured it out. We're good. If you picked this card, my darlings, Enchanted Fern Grotto Refuge, this is your reading on your first date and the intimacy that will occur. It feels like somebody's really admiring you. Somebody's really watching you very, very closely. Um, we have confidence and we have right. Okay. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yes. So either you are very big on... Sorry, squeaky chair. Either you are very big on social media, um, you have a decent following, um, or there is somebody who has noticed you on social media. It feels like they're really admiring your pictures. I feel like some of you are like uh, cosplayers or some of you post like very like fantastical uh, types of, you know, pictures where you get to dress up all nice and go in these, you know, fun, beautiful settings and look magical and mystical and all of that fun, wonderful stuff. And this person really admires you really, 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 um, thinks you're very, very gorgeous. Um, and, and comments, sends you a message or puts a comment out there, which this is be the second reading in this collection, uh, where social media has been the kind of connector for the first date very beautiful stuff um yeah and things kind of spark from there so we have deep knowing um 
go the distance and I'm going to take one more please my darlings we have peace this card has come up I think in I don't think all I think three of four of the readings today um so deep knowing this is very exciting because this is confirmation one that confirmation that the messages received today are meant for you but two um, it feels like confirmation of your own intuition I feel like you have been having like premonitions either visions or dreams especially or even like uh, thoughts that just pop into your head out of nowhere and uh, of how you would like you feel this person close and you're like I know like they're around I just don't know where and I don't know when um, confirmation that you are feeling this person's energy um, going the distance feels like we're right about at the finish line so four to seven weeks I feel for the majority of you uh, you have your first interaction with them um, it does feel mm, for the most of you it feels like this isn't somebody you know somebody that you know yet um, for some of you you have received a message but I don't feel as though it's one you've seen yet it slipped into like the you know little hidden secret inbox things that social media do uh sometimes and this is yeah this person really wants to know a lot about you they are just fascinated with you and this feels so exciting because it's so unpredictable for you this is not something that you've ever done before and you just feel this pull this draw to this person and you you know you're like why not literally that's what it feels like it's like well why not why don't i you know reply and why don't i see what happens and uh something beautiful happens my darlings this is a very 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 gorgeous connection between the two of you um for the terror what are you called erotic fantasy tarot um it feels like ugh, there's something that's really like a funny happenstance about this it feels like you're able to uh, meet with this person fast it feels like they wanted to show me the bottom oh isn't that beautiful Seven is the chariot. Okay, gorgeous. Um, so it feels like there's some sort of funny happenstance where you get to like connect with them quicker than you would normally because it does feel as though there's some distance between you both. So it feels like, um, it feels like, um, I don't know, there's, they're, you know, they have relatives close where you live like a city over or there's some sort of like event or a convention or something that you're both going to in a city like you get to meet faster than you would um initially we have the five of cups we have the king of swords gorgeous and we have um where did i put my cards over here i'm gonna take one more um we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So between this and uh, where'd you go? And the Chariot card, um, blindfolding is feels like this is yeah, but which it would make sense considering you are somebody who dabbles a lot in fantasy. You know, you do your your cosplay and your modeling and so on and so forth. They are obviously a person who is interested in fantasy. So it feels like there's an element of like playfulness to this intimacy. Um, it does feel there's there's an element of uh, consensual bondage. It does feel zesty. Um, feels exciting. Feels different. It feels almost like <sighs> Rowan lay down it feels almost like uh like role playing kind of but you're not you're being each other just in this like very playful very like advanced version of yourselves kind of a way um very exciting stuff for a first date i will say um and again like there's this there's this fe feeling of familiarity because uh, this is somebody who you have known, who you develop a, you know, a relationship with through online, who you talk with, who you feel safe with, you feel good with. Um, this is a person who gets you excited and you, you, it feels like you receive a lot of comments and compliments and so on and so forth, um, from people. So it's like, you know, what they say you've heard a million times before but it's just there's something about them and the more you get to know them the more it's like okay it makes sense that you know the other people who have said that I didn't give them a second thought a quick thank you or whatever and move past it but this one you can't help thinking about it um they're just there's something about them that really really draws you in these are very magnetic people 
you know, just, they have a very unique type of charisma. It's like a mysterious kind of charisma, whereas, you know, they're not like outwardly chatty or, or flirtatious or anything, but there's something so like almost brooding about them that's very sexy. Um, very thoughtful people, excellent communicators, incredibly logical people, very, very smart people. Um, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Very good at using what they have. Um, there's a lot of toys involved as well. It's not just them. It's there's, there's toys, there's additional things being used and inserted and so on and so forth. Um, you feel very safe with this person. There's no, there's no concern. There's no worry. This is a really, really, really safe, really assuring person. I can hear you saying like, well, I'm glad I didn't, you know, I'm glad I didn't respond to anybody else but you. Um, which is very sweet. That's very cute. Um, for the Tarot of Sexual Magic, my darlings, it also feels like the number of swords here, eight, which... <sighs> that is ambitious but i got it i got to give you the messages as i get them my darlings it feels like 8 is the uh, number of times you each enjoy each other uh in this first first night so it does feel like because you're a very 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 sexually com uh confident person very sexually comfortable you you love intimacy they love intimacy. Um, so it really feels like the first date is about the intimacy. Like you've gotten to know each other. You're comfortable with each other. You adore each other. You're interested in each other. Obviously, obviously, obviously. So it feels like, um, thank you. It feels like, you know, the intimacy is like the actual first date and you, it is, it, it's an adventure. It's a journey. It's, there's a story there. There's more to learn about each other through that. Um, for the tarot, for the, the, the tarot of sexual magic, my darlings, we have number eight, Justice. I can feel someone biting really, 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 really fucking hard on my left ear. Um, if they could just calm down for a minute. Um, we have Strength and we have the Magician. Gorgeous. So, okay, thank you. They did stop. Holy shit. Um, you guys are... You're a rowdy bunch, I will say. You are a you are a zesty, zesty dip if I've ever if I've ever had one. Um, because that was crazy. What just what just happened? Um, yeah, but this is you two are on perfectly even wavelengths when it comes to intimacy. Like you're really you're at the same level. You want the same things, you desire the same things, you're into the same things, but you also learn a lot with each other. Um, and really kind of grow with each other. And it does feel as though intimacy for you and for them, it takes exactly an even seat to, you know, rom romance or anything else in a, in a romantic connection, you know, like the intimacy is parallel to it. It's equal. Um, because the intimacy is, is, it's wild. It is craziness. Oh my goodness. Um, and you, you love a bit of rougher stuff. You love, you know, you love the scratching, the biting, the moaning, the blindfolds, the ropes, the chains, the whips. As uh, our Lord and Savior Rihanna once said. Um, and this is that. This is beautiful. This is wonderful. Um, there, I can f hear them saying that you've, like, they something about your hands you're really good with your hands and I feel like you're using your hands on them and they're like oh you know it's really hard to make me finish this way and then you're like is it and then you do it really well and they're like holy fucking shit um and you two just become completely yeah completely enamored with each other completely enmeshed um I feel like this isn't a jealous person at all <clears throat> oh my god throat gave out. This isn't a jealous person at all. I feel like jealousy is something that you've dealt with a lot before and um, something that you really, like, I feel like you've been single by choice for quite a long time. You've had your, you've had your trysts and your fun, <coughs> but you're like, no, I don't want a romantic connection because I love what I do and I love getting to do what I do and until somebody can support that 
I don't want to waste my time. And it feels like this person doesn't have a jealous bone in their body. Um, for those of you that are into it as well, it feels like eventually a third party could be added to the, just the physical aspect of this connection. It feels like, um, but yeah, very supportive of you. Um, not jealous at all. And uh, it feels like this turns into something really, I feel like for some of you, it stays like a very close friends with benefits kind of a thing, uh, because of the distance. But for others of you, you're like, no, this is perfect. This is everything I want. This is a really solid, good connection with a person. And the physical intimacy is blowing my mind for the rose oracle my darlings we have the return a new story you decide alignment it's coming together it's coming together now isn't it um beautiful confirmation of what i was just saying thank you spirit the sacred union gorgeous beloved within inner and outer relationships and we are nature becoming grounded embodiment living in connection gorgeous Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Yes, so something new. You get to decide how this goes, where this leads. Um, I will not make that decision for you, my darlings. I can only tell you what I see. It is up to you to follow your hearts, my loves. Um, very beautiful connection, though. This person, I feel like some of you have dealt with people who have made you feel like you should be, you know, less sexually free than you are or however they poorly put it. Um, and that's not the case, my darlings. You like what you like. You want what you like. You don't have to make yourself be less than or be different than what you are to fit into somebody's little shape that they made for you. You find somebody who matches the shape that you are and this person matches the shape that you are perfectly. And uh, very huge amounts of chemistry. Absolutely magnetic chemistry here, my darlings. Um, they also really fucking cherish you. They do. They really like you. They think you're smart. They think you're, imp they're very impressed by you. Very proud of you. Um, they adore you. They do. And this is really, really gorgeous stuff. Um, I am seeing sex outside as well. Oh, is YouTube not going to like that I use that word? I'm seeing intimacy in the nature, nature zone. <laughs> you bang outside, um, especially in, uh, in grass near water. Um, it feels like for a lot of you, it's either a hot place or during hot months. Cause there's like mosquitoes, but you don't even care cause you're so fucking lost in each other. Um, you're very grounded by this person as well. Um, I feel like for you guys, intimacy has always been a very like freeing thing. Like I want, you know, I want to use it to disconnect from the world. And for this person, yes, it helps you feel that freeing energy but as opposed to disconnecting it really grounds you with them i can hear them saying like be here with me and uh, a lot of face holding and and kissing and looking in the eyes and it's it's much more intimate which is funny to say than you're used to um because while it is rough tumble exciting uh playfulness games adventure and so on and so forth it is also very real and very intimate and this is a person i'm hearing you can trust wholeheartedly um And they match your energy really well. Yeah, they really, really, really match your energy. Which is exciting because I feel like you guys uh, can feel sometimes that you're hard to keep up with. But they have no problem doing that. Is there anything else? My darlings, they give me a shiver and they tell me no. My loves, group number four. I hope that you enjoyed that, my darlings. That is very zesty stuff. Whew, 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 whew. Um, if you did, my loves, please leave a comment and let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. I would love to talk to you. Um, all of my, nope, I skipped one. What did I skip? I skipped the part where I say something about stuff. If my energy resonated and the reading resonated, please subscribe. All of my links for social media and private readings are down in the description box below. Thank you so much for being here with me. I love you all. Bye.